Before we solve this problem, comparing the period of these two pendulums, let's notice that this distance, the large sphere's radius, equals L over 2. The pendulum on the left is a simple pendulum, so its period is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. The pendulum on the right is a physical pendulum, with a period of 2 pi square root moment of inertia over mg times d, where i is the moment of inertia about the pivot, the attachment point, and d is the distance from the center of mass to the attachment point. That's capital L in our case. We can find the moment of inertia i about the attachment point shown here using the parallel axis theorem. That tells us that i equals the moment of inertia about the center of mass plus m times d squared. I about the center of mass is 2 fifths mr squared for a solid sphere, and the distance d from the center of mass to the pivot equals capital L. If we replace the radius r with L over 2 and simplify, we find that the moment of inertia about the attachment point is 11 tenths ml squared. We can substitute this result into the expression above and simplify by canceling terms in the numerator and denominator, seeing that the period of the physical pendulum on the right is 2 pi square root 11 tenths L over G. And this means that its period is about 5% larger than the period of the simple pendulum on the left.